One of the biggest challenges with the pavilion renovation is actually at the end of the project. When we reopen the building, it's got a fresh coat of paint, some new plaster on the walls, but largely looks the same as when we first got started. It's a challenge to make folks understand that the vast majority of the work is really unseen. It's what's behind the walls and below the floors and above the ceilings and in the attic. So this is a, this is a really good opportunity and a really good time to see what's happening in the pavilion during the construction process. My name is James Ziemer. I'm an Historic Preservation Project Manager with UVA's Capital Construction and Renovations Department. I graduated from UVA in 2002 and I'm excited to be here in Pavilion 8 where we are in the third month of a major full building renovation that's scheduled to last for 18 months. Inside the pavilion, the basement will serve as a faculty residence as well as the home to the University Guide Service. The first floor will serve as classrooms brought up to 21st century standards and the second floor will retain its function as a faculty residence. This restoration is a team effort. We work with the university's Office of the Architect, uh, our design architect, John G. Waite Associates, and we're very proud that UVA's own in-house construction and renovation services department is our contractor. Some of the biggest challenges to renovating a pavilion like this are finding ways to modernize the buildings without taking away either the historic fabric of the building itself or the historic character of the building itself. We want them to perform in the 21st century, however, have a 19th century feel. What's really unique about this pavilion is it's the only one on the lawn that still serves its original purpose as a classroom space. I think the students will really benefit from this setting because it'll tie them back to the past and make them feel part of something bigger. It's not just a stale classroom with tile, walls, and floors. This has got the creaks and groans of an historic building that really let them feel like they, they are part of a university that's been here for 200 years. I think there's a lot of reasons to support historic preservation at UVA. One, it's not a museum, you know? It's a place where the students can come and learn and, and live in the lawn rooms and go to the rotunda to study. This place still functions the way it was designed. And I think that in some sense, it actually speaks to more than just university students, more than just to alums. It speaks to a much broader audience. Uh, this is a world heritage site for a reason because it's part of a global community and it holds a significant place in that community. We work to preserve these buildings, not just for ourselves, not just for Virginia, but for the rest of the world. Historic preservation really isn't about the past. It's about the future. It is about making sure future generations are able to come occupy this space in its fullness and learn from it and love it.